Well, there is no shortage of thank good you, works being you. done today here on The Morning Brew. First of all, if you're just finding us, thanks for uh, joining us here. This is a, a daily uh, on weekdays uh, TV talk show every every weekday at 7 a.m. We're here and we're live in Albuquerque. I'm Larry Ahrens. Our co-host is Aaron Muffaletto. In this segment, uh, we have uh, co-hosting, I guess, for this segment. Our Check Your Local IQ segment, and Steve Westman is here from Local IQ. Steve, how are you doing, big guy? I'm doing pretty good this week. Good to see you. We're still kind of rolling with the last three days of the Breaking Bad issue on the rack. Fantastic. If you didn't get your hands on it, it's your last chance the next three days. So it, it, it was a huge issue for us. Even Stephen Michael Cazada from Breaking Bad took right, copies. Right, right. Um, yeah. You know, and I, th I think I said last week, people are calling from out of town and asking me to send copies. So... There you go. It's been good for us, and now we roll into the next issue. And I've got a great piece that I'll talk about next week about the end of the Five Graces up in Santa Fe. So, oh, beautiful. So it'll be a fun time next beautiful. week. But we've got this going on today. Yeah, we so. do. We're going to talk about two different things. Gosh, where do we start? Where do you want to start, Steve? Well, well you know, we have two women from the NDI, which is the National Dance Institute, which is taken home in the old historic Highland Theater. Um, and they've got, they've got this amazing program going on for the kids. I'm kind of going to give it up to them to talk about what's going on. So first we have Gretchen. Gretchen and Williams with NDI, and you run the uh, Albuquerque, uh, Albuquerque group of this. NDI is wonderful. I've, I'm a big fan. Thank and you. Uh, you have the, the annual gala coming up. We do, and uh, just to kind of tell you a little bit about what's going on in the Highland, and then I'll let Ingrid take it over about the gala. But, uh, you know, it's open, and we have just a little bit of construction left to go. We're trying to finish our campaign, get everything done by the end of the summer. So it's a busy place, but there's about 50 classes you've, going on. You've raised a lot of money for the reconstruct of yes. uh, the Highland Theater, and it's been ongoing. Uh, how much has the project raised and how much have you put into this? You know, we're up over $12 million right now wow. towards a $13 million goal. So Impressive. we are really yes. getting close. Impressive. So if anybody wants to uh, come over and see it and be a part of that project, now's the time. You talk about your extreme makeovers. No this kidding. is it. <laughs> what you started with and what you've ended up with, it's pretty amazing. It was a the, shell. They've got the lobby up right now. Yeah. So. It was definitely a shell when we started out with it, and it, you know, had pigeons living in it. It was not necessarily a pleasant place, but it has been transformed. It's the first time that all three um, parts of the building have been made into one big campus. It's filled with hundreds of kids every week. It's a pretty beautiful space. Ingrid, we're going to get to you in the gala here, but I want to do a little education on what NDI does sure. for those who may have heard of it or are unfamiliar with uh, the work that NDI does in the community. Well, and the name may sound like we're the kind of program where it's just maybe an after-school ballet class, and it really is much different than that. Picture us going into the schools on a weekly basis, going to schools that really are under-resourced in so many ways, and offering kids the chance to be active, to gain confidence, to work together as a team. It's every single child in the grade level, and that really transforms their school experience, their academic experience, and they build social skills. Uh, all you have to do is go to one NDI event, and when you see the kids perform, you're hooked. Am I right, Ingrid? Absolutely. Absolutely. You just got to go to one. And once you see it, you see the work that goes on and the passion these kids have for the dancing and the performance that they, they've obviously worked very hard on. And you can see where this can lead for young people who may not have had anything like this in their lives before. That's true. What's pretty amazing is the results that we see. It's not just that they have a really great time and then they go on in life um, and it doesn't really necessarily make a difference. We see scores go up, we see their health improve, we see them making different choices and that's really what it's all about. Indeed. All right, Ingrid, let, what is this? This is... Well, <laughs> this, we'll, we'll get to this. The, um, what I do, what, I, what I'm involved with is the gala and throwing a gala yes. and a big party. And, and I've been involved with many things in Albuquerque for years. And I haven't quite been as excited about anything as I have as NDI. Because what I love about NDI is what you just said. You get, once you see the children perform, and there's 600 of them on stage the evening of our event, we touch over 7,300 kids a year 
in, in local Albuquerque at the grade school level. And it, this will continue to go on for years. But what we need to do, of course, always is to raise money. And that's my job and my committee's job. I have a fabulous committee. And we throw a party. And this year, our theme is Imagine the Possibilities. And it's a celebration of literature. And the children will be performing live on stage with live music, over 600 kids on stage different songs encompassing different books. And what we ran with this year was the Dr. Seuss theme because it gives you such a whimsical, crazy sure. fantasy. All the places you'll go. All right. the places <laughs> you'll go. And so the right. evening of April 20th, um, we will have the children beginning to perform. They'll perform first, and then that's followed by a large evening of a big tent with over 500 people. We sold out last year. We expect yeah. to sell out again this year. We will have live auction, raffle, um, the Pink Flamingos, a production of the Pink Flamingos Fantastic. will be pr performing, and we just expect a wonderful night. But where this comes into play is we're encouraging, you know, all the coolest cats will be in hats and, the, <laughs> and wear bow ties and boas and really just let it loose. If this isn't a formal, it, it is a formal, but an, an informal formal, sure. crazy night of fun. And so we encourage people, there are still a few tickets left, um, we do expect to sell out, like I said, but right. if you can't attend this, the children will be performing for mm -hmm. two weeks um, so the general public can come for $10 and watch the children at the theater. Uh, Gretchen, the, the kids are working out really hard right now, getting ready for this. How much rehearsal time are we talking about? Oh my goodness. You know, they've been working in their schools since the beginning of the school year. And the really fun thing about what's coming up next week is that they all start to come to the theater for the very first time. They literally get about a day and a half to <laughs> meet each other and then to go out on stage, 500 kids all together. So it's a pretty fast process, but my favorite moment is seeing them come into the theater for the first time and just get a mm. sense of what's coming. Yeah. And I want everybody to know this isn't like some little amateur school play it's where, where it's not the very good. These kids are really good at this. They are. And they're, they're bordering on professionals. They are. You know, the skills are. that they have are amazing. Well, the theater looks amazing. Yeah. The music's amazing. The kids are excited. I always say you, you're, I smile during part of it and cry during half of it. It it's touches you. It's just really moving to see that many kids doing that, that great of a of a thing for them and their future. Well, fantastic. So um, this event again, uh, give us the dates, please. April 20th is the gala, and then the public performances run the 18th through the 27th. All it's right. all on our website, so give it a and, check. And uh, NDI in Albuquerque has really expanded out. It is. Uh, you started small and working in a few schools. You're in how many? We're in 19 roughly. schools now, yeah. but I think the amazing thing is that there are 23 more that want the program. So there's such an appetite for this uh, kind of work with children, and if we can just go ahead and you know uh, have events like this, like the gala, and really build up that awareness and yeah. that support, we'll be able to do so much more. Do you need volunteers? Do you Absolutely. Need always. <laughs> it takes about 60 volunteers backstage and with the kids to make sure that these events happen. And then throughout the year, we need even more. So if there's an interest on any level, I'd encourage people to Yeah, do you have to, to have us. a performance background at all? The no. You know, we have parents who help us with ushering or with selling merchandise or with chaperoning or with snacks. You know, there, it really is a pretty dynamic experience for anybody that wants to be involved. Ages of the kids are what? At the Highland, thankfully, we have a much broader age range. Uh -huh. Kids can come and take after school classes, say, when they are at three, all the way up to graduation. In the schools, we focus it more on fourth grade. Oh, that's the center. It is. It's all a good right. age. Well, I hope, I hope the event sells out. It, it will. Yeah, it we're will. We are very confident. She's going to make it happen. Yes, I can tell. and we're <laughs> always looking for more donors, sponsors. Sure. We're always, I mean, this is, uh, you know, this. we need the money to keep this wonderful program going and so there's never enough and people have been amazingly generous and we appreciate that and we uh, welcome any more donations we can receive. Steve, thanks for bringing... I'm happy more. about it. You know, people really should go to see the transformation of the Highland too. Sure. Yeah. If you grew up in this town going to movies there, what you yeah. walk in and see is this thing in grandeur. Like it, I live in the neighborhood, so I drive back and forth past that building, mm -hmm. and you just smile when you see that marquee back in its full glory. Yes. And those where the TG and Y was, there are now classrooms and offices. It's 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 a spectacular thing that happened in that neck of town. It is. It's, it's a it's a jewel in our crown in Albuquerque for sure. Yeah. 
it's great to have you all. Ingrid, Thank great you. to Thank meet you. you. Thank you. Gretchen, I've known you for a long time and nice I admire you. the work of NDI. You, you I got brought a my hat too. In this show. Yay, nice. Look at this. <laughs> Check that out. Steve, you weren't that well, I guess if well, you're going to do it, I better do it too, yeah, right? There we go. All right, here we Come go. Come to the party. <laughs> Come to the party. We've got a pot of... Hey, very good. <laughs> Steve Westman, our, uh, our local IQ correspondent for all the culture and arts that happen around Very happy town. to be here. Great. I'm loving this. So. Gretchen Williams from NDI Albuquerque and Ingrid, Ingrid Gorham. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank nice you. to meet you. you. Okay. Uh, we're going to tell you about a, another great event coming up for Ronald McDonald House Charities, and that's Girls Night Out, and that's coming up here in a moment. I'm Larry Ahrens. You're watching The Morning Brew for Monday. Thank you.